Bird Strike and Man Balloon! Hi, I'm Ross Butter and I animated Bird Strike and Man Balloon. I've made a few cartoons with Joel that are rather good, and people often ask what program I use. Well, the truth is I do it with my bare hands, using pencils, pen, and colored crayons. It is very, very hard work. We thought we'd show you how the process works so you can see for yourself. Bird Strike and Man Balloon took around four months to make for only a 57 second short film. I reckon I drew close to a thousand pages of animation to make it. If I was to make a 90 minute feature length film by myself using the same method, it would take around 30 years at that rate. So here we have the initial character designs. We've got Man Balloon, who's like this weird inflation fetishist, and Bird Strike, who's kind of a cross between Beaky Buzzard and Superman post-horse accident. These are the guides that I use so I can keep the characters all the same size and uh, the right shape. Here we have Bird Strike, and there's the robbers, and over here we have and balloon, uh, and there he is. So here we have the people in the bank. Uh, they're all animated on separate layers, and then we'll put them together into one scene on the computer later on. So this is the close-up scene where our heroes turn into their amazing alter egos. Here's Man Balloon putting on his magic hat. Here we have the stack of finished frames. They're all hand drawn with pencil, then penned in, then coloured in finally with colouring in crayons. So once everything's drawn and scanned in, uh, I take it all into Photoshop and I cut out each and every frame so that there's no background, and then I'll take Man Balloon and I'll put him into After Effects. There he is. And then uh, once that's animated all together, uh, all that's left is just to stick him into the scene with backgrounds and all the other characters. That should Even though there are quicker, easier ways to animate, I work this way because hand-drawn animation has a more timeless look compared to the likes of, say, flash animation. Flash is a great tool, but because there are so many shortcuts, even if you put a lot of effort into it, people still assume that you just click the button and the computer did the work for you. I'm a firm believer in quality over quantity, and that's why I enjoy making handcrafted full animation. Uh, I have a light box now, and I'm just going to draw bird strike doing a save of the dance. Change the eyes, is a bit more cross eyed. So that's our first keyframe of this silly little dance. Just tidy it up there. So that's how to draw a little animated sequence. I get a lot out of animation. The best parts are coming up with the initial ideas and seeing the finished piece. The work in between is time consuming and often exhausting, but I have fun at my light box and there's not many jobs you can do in your pyjamas. There's also a great feeling to make people laugh from your work. Bird Strike and Man Balloon with foilless dastardly skin!